So I went back and watched that press conference from yesterday, Biden in Brussels, where he addressed the world on the Russian war on Ukraine, specifically the NATO response. It was a total dud. It fell flat. Joe Biden wasn't the lion that we had hoped for, the lion that would tame the Putin dictator. Instead, Biden was a lamb laying over, looking for someone, anyone to scratch his belly. Here, Biden says the quiet part out loud. Listen. Sanctions never deter. The maintenance of sanctions, the maintenance of sanctions, the increasing the pain and the demonstration why I asked for this NATO meeting today is to be sure that after a month we will sustain what we're doing. Right before that, he said they never intended sanctions to deter Putin's behavior. Did you hear that? Because I'm 100 percent Putin, sure, Putin heard that. Sanctions were never meant to be a deterrent. So what the hell were they supposed to be, Joe? A softly worded hint? I have a hunch Putin went off, Biden went off script there, repeating what his internal discussions with his people and his inner circle are saying. The problem is, we know the sanctions were supposed to deter Putin. And how do we know that? Well, virtually his whole administration said so. That's how. Behold, the Biden getting self-owned. The purpose of the sanctions has always been and continues to be deterrence. The purpose of the sanctions in the first instance is to try to deter Russia from going to war. As soon as you trigger them, that deterrent is gone. And until um, uh, the last minute, uh, as long as we can try to bring uh, a deterrent effect to this, uh, we're going to try to do that. We do see them as having a deterrent I impact, right? It doesn't mean they're 100 percent foolproof. So there it is. Biden admitting yet another strategy he and his minions put in play is failing in real time. See Afghanistan, inflation, the border, crime, and now add Ukraine to the growing list of Biden failures. The problem is a failure on this stage could become catastrophic for America. Putin and his death squad are bombing civilian installations, maternity wards, schools, and that drama theater holding hundreds of women and children. We just learned so far up to 300 of the most vulnerable Ukrainians have been found dead, and they're still digging them out. And remember that picture showing those signs that say children big enough to be seen from satellites. That means Putin is willing to violate rules of war to get his way. So are nukes next? Listen to Putin's foreign minister suggest that if NATO pushes Russia, well, yeah, they'll use nukes. If Russia is provoked by NATO, if Russia is attacked by NATO, I don't know. So we are, we are nuclear power. Why not? When you're dealing with a nuclear power, of course, you have to calculate all the possible outcomes of, of your behavior. Why not? Yeah, just like that. Yeah, why not? We'll use nukes. So our fearful leader, our fearful leader, is stumbling, bumbling and fumbling his way around Eastern Europe. And Russia is readying her nuclear arsenal. For those who may not recall what that might look like, Look at this video made to warn Americans what happens when a nuclear warhead detonates on a civilian area. Look at that. Homes vaporized, completely destroyed. Nothing left standing within miles of the explosions and the devastation that's left after an attack. The nuclear radiation seeping throughout the region. Here's what Hiroshima looked like. Look at that. Is that what's in store for us if Putin finds himself embarrassed on the world stage? What, who knows what he might do? Because we have a president who's been tiptoeing around Putin like a pussycat, not wanting to poke the bear. But so far, tiptoeing around Putin has gotten women's maternity hospitals bombed, children's drama theaters demolished, a city filled with innocent people destroyed, and more pain to come. The man isn't following normal thought processes. He's on a mission. And so far, Biden and Harris and Blinken and general humiliation have done nothing to slow Putin's role. Perhaps we should try punching the bully in the face before he presses the nuke buttons, rather than trying to survive what happens just after. And believe me, that's an ugly picture. Yeah. Are the stakes. 
to make a world in which all of God's children can live. Yeah. He's got 6,000 6, of those folks. Earlier today, Joe Biden was speaking with American troops in Poland, explaining to them what they're going to see when they go to Ukraine, when they go to Ukraine. Listen. Look at how they're stepping up. And you're going to see when you're there, some of you have been there, you're going to see, you're going to see women, young people standing, standing in the middle of the front of a damn tank, just saying, I'm not leaving. I'm holding my ground.